what is going on guys and welcome to html in brackets tutorial in this video we're going to talk about directory structure and how it actually helps us to manage our files so let's say that over here i have right now you can see that i have two images right and but let's say i'm going to be building a website that has like i don't know hundreds and or three thousand images right and you don't want them to be all clogged up in a space you don't want your workspace to be basically in hundreds and hundreds of files so common practice actually is if let's say that you're creating a images you want images to your page you create a folder within your folder that you're working in the html folder in this case we actually create a new folder which would be images and let's say we would have another folder for videos and so long and so forth right so what we would do is basically we would make our workspace neater where all the files that are relating to images would be in one space and all the files that would relate to videos or I don't know, music would be in uh, other, uh, other folders. So you can see over here what that brackets allows me to do. It, I can click over here, new folder, and I created a folder image. The problem with brackets though is that I cannot move these files over here. It's not like I would be sitting in the Mac and I can move them here. So without installing the extension, you're not gonna be able to do that. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our computer over here. And I, what I would do is I'm actually would move these files over here. So the funny and Vladimir would be over here. So now you can see that I have this folder images and it actually has two images over here. Now, why it's a big deal, right? So let's say that I'm gonna delete this right now and I would want to add an image to my page. So I'd write image and then I would write source because I know that I would need to add, add the attribute source. But here's the deal now you can see that I don't have this option anymore where it's telling me right away which image I should pick, whether it's funny or whether it's Putin, right? What it tells me is that I have this file, the one that I have in my folder, which would be index.html, and I have a folder that is images. So it, if it would be images, I would have to click images over here, and only then it tells me which file would I want. Well, let's say in this case, I want Putin over here, right? And then I close, and now I have the image. And why I'm telling you this is, is let's say that you're gonna create a another folder within the images folder, right? Or that, that you're trying to access some file outside your folder over here. The way would you would have to do that you would have to write a folder name and only then you're writing a file name. So it's basically like a path. Instead of going directly when our file was located in our, our folder, we didn't need to write this forward slash, right? We just write a file name and that's it, we found it right away. However, if we're working with the folders, we first we would have to write a folder and then in this case, brackets is gonna give us the file name, but then you would have to write a file name if you're not using the brackets. This is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next video.